Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be covering a comprehensive exploration of the DeepSeq version 3 project, a revolutionary advancement in the field of artificial intelligence and natural language processing. In this video, I will delve into the intricate details of this architecture, training methodologies, performance benchmarks, and its implications for the future open source language models. The project was created by Dorian Darko. It's an open source project where you can find it on the, on the GitHub. I will be leaving the link inside the description of this video. So, what it is, it's a powerful coding assistant application that integrates with a DeepSeq API to process user conversations and generate structured JSON responses through an intuitive command line interface. It can read local files contents, uh, create new files and apply the edits uh, to existing files in real time. As you can see guys, there is not much uh, included. Okay, it's very, uh, very simple um, uh, documentary uh, here. Okay, so it's not much of, a, of what's happening here. It should be pretty straightforward for anyone to start over and start testing it by yourself. Okay, it's a fully uh, fully Python-based project. Okay, it's 100% uh, Python. Um, okay, this repository contains a powerful code and assistant applications that integrates with the DeepSeq API to process user conversations and generate structured JSON responses. Okay, has here are some few, uh, key features like DeepSeq client configuration, uh, data model, system prompts, help functions. And Add comment, uh, conversation flow, interactive sessions. Okay, to get in started, it's very simple. You just need to prepare a, a .dot .nvi file with your DeepSeq API key. Okay, you just go and get yourself a DeepSeq API key, and um, and then you can uh, you can start all, uh, with this project. Okay, then you have to install dependencies and run um, using pip or using uv. Okay, so there you go. And I but now I want to go and cover uh, some sort of uh, documentations regarding this uh, this particular project as I found out that it might be very interesting to uh, uh, some of those details might be interesting of you guys. DeepSeq version 3 is a mixture of experts uh, MOE language uh, model uh, that boosts an impressive 671 billion parameters with 37 billion parameters activated for each token process. This model is designed not only to enhance performance but also to achieve efficient uh, inter uh, inference and cost-effective training. So the development of DeepSeq version 3 is part of a broader trend in large language models, which are rapidly evolving towards achieving artificial general intelligence (AGI). Okay, open source models like DeepSeq are making significant strides to close the performance gap with leading closed source counterparts, such as uh, those developed by OpenAI and Go uh, uh, and Google. Okay, I'll be leaving the link to this uh, PDF inside the description of the video. I will be. Uh, I, I think, guys, you'll find it interesting if you want to read it through go ahead and um, uh, and check it out. Uh, the architecture of DeepSeq version 3 incorporates several cutting-edge innovations, okay, so multi-head related uh, attention. This mechanism allows the model to focus on multiple aspects of input data simultaneously. Uh, enhancing understanding and response generation capabilities. This technique can, uh, has been uh, uh, validated in previous uh, iterations like DeepSeq version 2. Okay? Uh, DeepSeq uh, MOE architecture, uh, this approach optimizes training costs by activating only a subset of experts for each token, ensuring that computational resources are utilized efficiently. Auxiliary loss-free uh, load balancing, a pioneering strategy that minimizes performance deg uh, degradations while encouraging balanced load distribution across models components. Okay, So multi-token prediction training objectives. Uh, the novel approach uh, enhances overall model performance across various evaluation benchmarks by allowing the model to predict multiple tokens at once. DeepSeq version 3 underwent extensive pre-train on staggering 14.8 trillion tokens, utilizing an innovative um, FB8 mixed precision training framework. This framework significantly reduces GPU memory usage while accelerating training times. The entire training process required only 2.788 million H, uh, 800 GPU hours, which it translates to approximately 5.5 uh, uh, 76 million in cost, making it one of the most economically uh, viable large uh, scale models available. Remarkably, throughout this extensive training phase, no irrecoverability loss spikes were encountered, showcasing the model's stability and reliability during training. 
The performance of DeepSeq version 3 has been rigorously uh, evaluated against various benchmarks. On edu uh, educational uh, benchmarks such as MMLU Pro, DeepSeq version 3 achieved a score of 75.9 outperforming all other open source models. In coding, competitions and mathematical reasoning tasks it has set new records, demonstrating its robust capabilities in, uh, in these domains. Notably, it excels in, uh, uh, in factual knowledge assessments, particularly in Chinese factual knowledge benchmarks, where it uh, surpasses even uh, some closed source models. Following pre-training, uh, pre okay, DeepSeq version 3 underwent two critical post-training uh, stages. Supervised fine-tuning, uh, SFT. This stage uh, aligns the model responsive with human preferences, enhancing its usability in real-world applications. And reinforcement learning, RL. This process distills reasoning capabilities from previous models in the DeepSeq series, further improving its performance across various tasks. In conclusion, DeepSeq version 3 stands as a testament to what can be achieved with innovative architecture and efficient training methodologies in open source language models. If not only it outperforms many existing models, but also does so at a fraction of the cost typically associated with the such large scale AI systems. As we look forward, the future projects like DeepSeq version 3 will continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in AI, making advanced language processing uh, more accessible um, uh, and effect, uh, effective for everyone. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you got any questions, please leave it down below and um, have a good day.